So what you are watching right now is a final preview of a short film that we are working on and I want to use this opportunity to talk about the advanced part of HDRI in Unreal Engine. If you didn't watch the first tutorial about the HDRI then you gotta click on the card on top there to watch that video. So without no wasting no much time let's dive in. So this is the whole scene that we have right here okay so right here is the HDRI all right you just see that okay so let me just delete the HDRI and I will start everything from scratch right okay so I'll just hit delete and I'll say yes okay so we don't have anything in our scene very dark so what we have to do is go tap here and I'll click and I'll come to light and I'll say HDRI backdrop and I'll click it so we don't have anything okay we have something so at the moment I don't know my location right now I don't know where my assets are so I have to go in and I will select one of my meshes so um, I can select this one and I will click F okay so this is where we are and this is our HDRI very tiny okay this is our HDRI okay so we have to max out our HDRI the size of our HDRI so to do that you will come in here you come to size of the HDRI and I'll do something like 3000 oh wow so I'll drag it down just like this now don't worry we will fix everything so I'll drag it down so just like that okay so now what's next we have to actually change our HDRI because this is not the HDRI we are going in for so I actually have my HDRI so I'll go in and I'll go for this one this is the HDRI I used okay so I'll just click right here to bring in that HDRI but you can see that things are kind of not working accurate because our sky is actually um, like a sphere to the whole scene and which is it's kind of like you are falling from the skies which is kind of not cool so that's not what we are looking for so to fix that you have to get to the HDRI and you come down and say use camera projection so when you click on that now we have it accurate okay but there's another problem too you can see how our skies is more lit we don't kind of have it on our um, our assets and it's kind of not cool so what we can do is we click on our HDRI and now this is where we are diving in deep so you come here at the details you come down here and you scroll down to skylight so when you come to skylight now you say the source type you use SLS specified cube map so now you see everything just turned dark our all our assets turned dark because right now we are not using the backdrop of our HDRI to light our main asset right now we are using the HDRI as a source light on our asset so the backdrop is now going to be different from our source light so you will see so now we go to our cube map we select then we choose the same HDRI we use for our backdrop and this is it right here so I'll select it 
And now you can see our scene a small a crate with the HDRI that we have. Okay, so you can see that right here. So now bear in mind that at this point we have um, intensity for the backdrop and we also have intensity for your asset right here. So I can say, uh, let me say five, and you just see how our asset just bumped up in intensity. Okay, so I can drop it back to one. Then I can go back to the HDRI intensity. And where is it? Right here. And I again, I can say five. And you can see how much lit our HDRI is. And it's not affecting our asset because our asset got a different lighting, a different lightning than our backdrop. Okay, so we'll turn that to one. All right, now since we know this, sometimes you'll be like, you see the HDRI is just an image and sometimes your skies may not move. So sometimes you'll be like, okay, what if I just want the lightning on just my asset, but I don't want the HDRI because in post-production, I can get, um, I have, uh, moving skies that I can place there to actually fit my HDRI and I can see some moving skies So how do we do that? So to get this HDRI out of this shape Fine, you can actually do like you turn the intensity to zero and we have dark darkness, but also You can go like You come to geometry right here you click on geometry and you scroll down so you scroll down to um, under rendering visible so you can click that on and now it's not showing up so maybe you have something you want to composite at the back of your HDRI um, at the back of your assets maybe you have a different environment you can also do that and also while I'm talking about this also you can also be like you want this um, you want your HDRI to you want to light up your HDRI with this HDRI but you want to use a different HDRI as your backdrop you can also do that so you click on this and at your cube map HDRI you just go in and select a different HDRI so let me go in and um, choose something like um, this it will load so you see we have a different HDRI going on you, you see that but you see sometimes the sound of the backdrop will not be the same as the one on your asset so you have to try and position that now when you watch my first video you know how I, I tried positioning the Sun and the HDRI so you can know how to do that okay but I will not do this but you cannot you can do this if you want to okay so I will change my HDRI to this one right here okay so right now let's talk about resolution and to showcase that I will go to my asset right here and you can see you can see the reflection on the HDRI right here okay so when I go to uh, my HDRI and I scroll down to skylight you can see we have cube map resolution now when I turn this to let's say 6 you can see the resolution on the reflection is now very poor so you can try your best to boost your resolution up to get accurate resolution on reflections for your HDRI so what if we want to rotate our HDRI because we feel like we want to position our HDRI on a different 
I mean, rotate it on a different angle. But we have um, another HDRI, which is the same HDRI, trying to light this asset up. So I'm like, okay, so I go here to my HDRI, I go to my scene component. So I try to rotate it like 180. So the HDRI changed in rotation, but our light on our asset didn't. So how can we do that? So on the HDRI again, we'll go to our skylight. And on our skylight, when you scroll down, we have um, source cube map angle. So I'll change this to 180. And let me check where the sun is at. So you can see you can see the sun on here right now. So when I take it, then you see the sun is right here. Okay, so that's how you do some advanced steps in advanced steps of HDRI in Unreal Engine. So on my next tutorial, I will try to combine HDRI with Ultra Dynamic Sky to give us amazing results. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay cool. I love you. Stay blessed. Peace. I'm out.